the wall of molecular imaging. Moritz Zeiss, German Cancer Research Center, Heidelberg. What a magnetic resonance. I'm using magnetic resonance to do molecular imaging, to look into your body. This is normally done using a radioactive substance, put it into your body and look where a tumor, for example, is. I will show you now that I don't need this and still can detect proteins, your own proteins, and especially the effect of protein unfolding. Now, why is this important? Proteins are these little machines that do all the work in your body. They copy the sequence from your DNA, fold magically together and form something really, something really effective, which is like an enzyme which cuts lactose or not, or an antibody which binds to an Ebola virus or not. Very important is the protein structure defines the protein's function. And if it loses the structure, it loses its function, and that's related to many diseases like Parkinson, Alzheimer, cancer, and a very common disease, aging. But maybe much more important for you guys today is proteins also misfold under stress. Yeah? And this can lead to diseases. So my innovation is to create a three-dimensional image showing if the proteins in your body are nicely folded or not. And the trick how I do this is magnetization transfer. So I use a hydrogen atom within the protein and magnetically label that um, w using a 7 Tesla MRI machine. So this uh, labeling is now transferred to the surrounding water molecules and the protein is not singing alone. All the water molecules are joining like you joined me singing in the beginning. So I could show that this signal actually changes under the process of protein unfolding. And this is my image where I really can show in the solution here are the proteins uh, nicely folded and here they are unfolded. So we really try to, uh, we really could show that this is a protein folding MRI and applied it to a first uh, brain tumor patient. And what you can see here is that the standard image shows you the tumor up here. And now protein unfolding image shows a hotspot down here. Now if you look at the tumor progression one month later, you see that the uh, progression, it, the tumor grows downwards and the center of activity is really delineated by, by our method. So this is, this is really interesting for cancer guidance, for therapy uh, planning, for example. But the idea of a protein folding MRI is much bigger. Imagine, I can take a, I, I can take a image of your brain, for example, and tell you, hey, you're stressed, go to vacation and refold your proteins before, <laughs> before you get a disease. I did this, uh, I, so I applied this whole technique and I showed for the first time that uh, the <coughs> protein folding affects the signal. One quick one. So some proteins have a behavior like this, that they are usually un, uh, partially unfolded in vivo, and this is not toxic. So how, how you distinguish between this situation and really uh, cancer cells? So until now Very we have... Until now we have a, like the whole proteome is responding and we try to get more specific, but now it's like a new marker for the whole proteome um, slightly unfolding. Thank you. Thank you very much.